So when you first sit down at a microscope, any microscope, um, except the student ones, which have uh, no adjustable eyepieces, but you want to take a look at the eyepieces first. Make sure they're either set at zero for your perfect 2020 vision or using your glasses or contacts, um, or if they're messed up. And maybe there's no adjustment at all, like the, the classroom microscopes don't have any adjustments, so you don't have to worry about them, other than your uh, inner pupillary distance, which is this, this one here. So moving them out and out and in. I can't do it one-handed. So what you want to do is take a look at the eyepieces. And for instance, on the Leicas, like this one, these go in and out. You just rotate them. <clears throat> it's a pretty big gap right here, about 10 millimeters. And so you, what you want to do is you see this silver line here, that's your zero position. And then there's these little hash marks that they use to indicate you're going further and away from the center line. So if you have 20-20 or your eyes are corrected with uh, contacts or glasses, um, then you want to just keep them both at zero, which is right on that line. See that silver line? So I just rotate them and make sure they're right on that line. Okay? Um, if you are wearing glasses, you can pinch these little eye cups and they pop right off like that. And there's a little bit of a rubber gasket right around here so that won't, uh, so you won't scratch your glasses if you push them on there. We'll pop those back on. You just push them. Try not to touch the lens in there. And that's that. So that's for 2020. Now what if you have, uh, you're not wearing your glasses and you don't have contacts in and you want to set the eyepieces. So how you do that is you take uh, one of them, whatever's your dominant eye, let's say my right eye for instance, I'll set this one at the right eyepiece at zero. Right at that silver line, see that? Not further, not before, just right at the line. And then my left eye, so I'll focus the image on this eyepiece, my right eye, because that's my dominant eye. And I'll focus it using the focus knobs down here. Okay, so now I'm focusing on my sample, rotating these until it's in focus. And then I go to my left eye, and I'll focus it here. And let's say I already know mine, it's like two notches corrected up. It's one and a half, but for the demonstration's sake, it's about right there. Okay? So that would correct it for mine. And now I know. Here's my setting. My right is on zero. My left would be two notches up. Some have an actual number around the edge here that you're following, and like one little dot that you're matching up. So all scopes are different, but they're all going to have some kind of an adjustment if they have adjustable eyepieces on them. Some of them only have one adjustable eyepiece. In this case, we have two, so that's the best way to do it. So then you have all the options. Someone might have a left eye that's dominant, so you want the adjustment on the right side. Either way. So there my eyepieces are set to my eyes, and I'm ready to go. For that, at least. The second step of this then after adjusting those is this right from the front you can see this scale here so now i know that my setting is 64. this is how wide your eyes are so it's your interpupillary distance between these two eyepieces so obviously it doesn't change unless you're still growing and your eyes are expanding apart <laughs> or retracting maybe, shrinking together. Um, so you would take your uh, eyes and adjust these together or further apart. I know mine is about 64, and I think it's 64 millimeters. So all microscopes will have some sort of a scale telling you this. So you can quickly know to go right to a microscope, sit down, do your eyepiece centration and focus and adjust them, and then quickly go to here and put it at your setting, which mine is 64, and I'm ready to go. So once you figure out that setting, remember that. And once you figure out your eyepieces settings, remember those.
and you should be pretty good for almost sitting down at any microscope. All right, so that's the tip for today on that one, because um, it's one of my biggest pet peeves, um, is not having the eyepieces adjusted. The reason we do all this is because a lot of times I go into labs and they're just completely screwed in like this. And then what happens is you're not par focal to the monitor, to what you see on the camera. And then they get the calls complaining that, oh, I can't see anything. I keep having to adjust the focus down here because it's not, I'm not seeing on the camera what I'm seeing on the, in the eyepieces. And I say, well, did you check, did you adjust your eyepieces properly? And that's why. The other way is sometimes one screwed all the way out and one screwed all the way in. And then you can even see, if I look at the side profile, how far apart those are, obviously that's going to cause problems. You're not going to be able to get in focus at all because your eyes are going to be going crazy trying to focus in two different planes. So always start with your zeroing out your eyepieces to whatever your focus is and the way I taught you there and then adjusting your inner pupillary distance and then you get to work on your microscope. Sorry, that was a long six minutes to explain that.